breaking, it's on the pensions. His company, Quadrangle, has to pay $7 million and disavow Steve Ratner. Now, let's get to this. I have been ahead of I've been calling all this way before anyone would even acknowledge me, except the New York Observer did and eventually Elizabeth Benjamin. I kept saying that Bloomberg, he did wrong. He denied us the referendum. I said that uh, he pushed a reckless tsunami of community crushing development on this infrastructure. And what I said most of all is there may be a surprise. Two years before the election, I said there may be a surprise and Bloomberg may not win. And uh, I was right on. And what I kept telling you all was about the pension scandals and quadrangulated Steve Ratner. I told you, and there's a YouTube about Joyce Pernick writing this biography about Bloomberg, and in it, she never mentions the pension fund scandals. She never mentions Steve Ratner. Really, the real reason people he had to step down from his job as the cars are is he was implicated. Quadrangle was implicated. On top of that, what she she does is she says very very important point. She says that Steve Ratner urges Mike Bloomberg to run for a third term. This is a man that is implicated. This is huge. And what did do? What did Steve Ratner do? He separated himself from Quadrangle and creates a new firm just to handle Bloomberg's private money, because he wanted to separate himself. But Cuomo's not letting him. This this scandal has has completely exploded onto Steve Ratner. This just blew up, and it's huge because Ratner pushed this third term. Bloomberg and Ratner were just in this together, and now it's exploded and it's ugly. And, 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 and Ratner has been busted. And I've done how many YouTubes on Ratner? Look at how many, you know, look at how many YouTubes. Go to Susanna Artist, that's my YouTube name, and Steve Ratner, and see how many YouTubes come up. And I was not given the time of day, just like this poster. This poster. New York is democracy for sale. It has Latin, Principum Amateus. Beware of princes that want to be your friend. Think about it, princes and friends. That says a lot. Philanthropy welcome, no to oligarchy, economic tsunami, prove we need limits. Do not post on New York City property or litter. Recycle, do recycle and volunteer. Love hard, New York City. This painting's amazing. Just the art and the paint, the paint handling of this was amazing. And did I get any acknowledgement? I've had letters published, nine letters in the New York Times, letter in the Financial Times, published in Cranes. My letter in Cranes said NYU's logo should be the mega dorms, dollar um, bill instead of the Washington Square arch. I mean, it goes on and on. I've been published in the New York Post, New York Daily News, you name it, I've been published, and no one would touch this. I am thankful to Elizabeth Benjamin and the New York Observer and Oz Abrop, you know, people that covered me. There's this woman, the first person to cover me about my work was Catherine Jose of the New York Observer. But anyway, thanks to all of you. But why didn't people pick this up? And I kept talking about Steve Ratner a blog that cued me into that, by the way, was True News. I'll put that blog in. So thank you, True News. I'm, I don't have the exact address portion and look. I had to just tell you guys.